Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Sly here with Flo. And today, we're talking about Danny Gray and his pulled hamstring. Now, Flo, remember last week we were talking about where's Danny Gray? Why isn't Danny Gray out there? I guess it was because he had that pulled hamstring, man. What are your thoughts on this? And do you think it might affect him for opening game? Um, yeah, this is a little worrisome. Obviously, hamstring injuries, man, you can't play around with those things. If you try to play on them, you're only going to mess yourself up more. And for a guy like Danny Gray, who's freaking just known for being a speedster, always freaking exploding off the line every single time, he really has to be careful with this injury, man. Don't overdo it. Don't aggravate it. And for a guy who has that work ethic of Danny Gray, you know he wants to be out there. You know he's probably freaking hating life right now, not being able to go at 100%. But he's a young guy, man. Take your time. Make sure you're fully healed up right. We got plenty of receivers right now. Just make sure you're just working on the little, um, what's that, the, the machine for the catching? Mm -hmm, jugs. The jugs, yeah. Just work on the jugs. Work on your coordination right now. But don't push that hammy. Don't get hurt. Yeah, man, the hammies are so hard. You really don't know what the heck you're going to get. Remember D. Ford, he pulled the hammy, and he was out until the playoffs. Uh, so he was always aggravated. It was like eight weeks or something like that, something crazy like that. Um, me, myself, I remember I pulled a hammy, and I was out three months, man. So everyone's different with the hammy. It's really tricky. We saw her that he was um, around training camp actually jogging a little bit, but you have to be careful, with, you know, just because when you start going full strength again, you could really tear that thing, and it could be really bad so um it's a little bit concerning because we were here and he was having such a good um otas and rookie mini camp so i was like dang it man that kind of sucks because everyone was talking about his speed you know jimmy war chavarius warrior were like damn man this guy's freaking fast as heck and the fact that he hurt himself it's like oh man so hopefully we get a hundred percent out of him week one but like i said this is a tricky injury it really is um hopefully he battles through this you know rest pretty much that's what you could do rest and i don't know uh, give whatever I don't know what they give you to that get that because it's such a tricky injury so hopefully he comes back 100% because I think in the end we're probably gonna need him um like I said it's a long season so hopefully we'll get him 100% by time maybe playoffs were wrong he'll probably be better before that but you never know with this injury man yeah hopefully the severity of the hamstring pull is not that bad and like she said he could, it could be a shorter uh, uh what's it called recovery period but I would just play it safe if I was Danny Gray. It's not like we need him to go out there week one and dominate for us. We have we have the guys. We have our main guys already. If he comes in this year, everything that he does is just going to be freaking gravy, extra anything. Because we obviously our receiving core is sick. And Danny Gray, I think he's going to push us over the top. But don't get hurt, man. We'd rather see you play this year instead of pushing in than being out for the entire season or something crazy like that. Hopefully, the good thing is that he's still young. So, usually, if you're younger, those you recover a lot faster. So, hopefully, cross your fingers that he's able to be ready to go. You know, I don't know. I Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen with preseason. If he's going to be 100%, like I said, I would just wait. Just wait. Keep yelling it. Wait till you're, you feel like you're 100%. Because it seems like a lot of times people come back too soon from that. And they they uh, re-aggravate it. And it's just it's like a long, more process. So, I don't want that happening. Hopefully, He's fine. He can just rest. Don't go too crazy because, like I said, uh, we're going to need him later later down the road. Yeah, and like I said, we're going to have him for the next few years too, so we don't want to injured going into the future. But you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about Danny Gray's hamstring injury. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.